President Biden's bid to sweep the Super Tuesday primaries was undone by an unlikely challenger, far from the U.S. mainland. Jason Palmer, an under-the-radar candidate, edged Biden by just 11 votes in American Samoa, netting 51 ballots to the president's 40. Palmer's campaign says American Samoa isn't the only place he's been campaigning in the Pacific. Palmer's surprise win doesn't endanger Biden's run for the Democratic nomination, but it did put a sudden spotlight on Palmer, a Baltimore, MD, entrepreneur who has worked primarily in technology and education. But for a day at least, Palmer can bask in an unexpected win. Palmer's campaign focused on American Samoa, where, according to the Department of the Interior, residents are deemed U.S. nationals rather than U.S. citizens. Palmer didn't visit the unincorporated U.S. territory that is home to more than 43,000 people and sits between Hawaii and New Zealand. Instead, he appeared to voters via Zoom, and impressed attendees by introducing himself in the Samoan language, according to local news site Talainai. The territory's Democratic Party held its caucus Tuesday in Tafuna, the territory's most populous village, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. The result gives Palmer and Biden three delegates each. Palmer, aged 52, is a Quaker who has worked as an executive and board member and at an investment firm called New Markets Venture Partners. His website highlights stints with Microsoft and Kaplan Education, and as deputy director of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Palmer attended the University of Virginia and then earned an MBA from Harvard Business School, according to his campaign. Palmer isn't the only Democrat challenging Biden, the race also includes Representative Dean Phillips of Minnesota, who conceded defeat on Tuesday.